For this lesson, I've put two lessons together. The first one is on multiplying exponents, and the second one is on dividing them. Today we're going to be talking about exponents, and we're going to focus on when we are multiplying with exponents. But we're pretty much just going to expand these. So um, which one of the examples would be x squared and x to the fourth? x squared and then x to the fourth, which gives us a total of how many x's? That would be x to the sixth power. So looking at it, we could almost skip that middle step. If I was to tell you to simplify x squared times x to the fourth, you would go right from there to the fact that there are six x's. The next example is x to the fifth times x. So write this out in expanded form we would have x to the fifth, so we would have five x's times an extra x out here. And then we would write this with just an exponent and get x to the sixth power. So again, think about how I could go from this to this without um, expanding it all out. So let's try one more where we expand it out. So 5 to the 3rd times 5 to the 2nd would be 5 to the 3rd times 5 to the 2nd. And then write it um, with an exponent. And that would be 5 to the 5th power. So the next one we have is x to the 4th times x to the 7th. Well, I don't feel like writing that many x's. So let's take a quick second and think about what that rule, rule might be. What am I doing with the exponents when I'm multiplying them? Yep, so the rule is that um, I'm adding the exponents because 3 plus 2 is 5 and 2 plus 4 is 6. So the rule is that we the add exponents. So let's try this one and now you don't have to expand it what would be x to the 4th times x to the 7th? It would be x to the 11th. Let's try another one. 5 to the 5th times 5 to the 7th would be 5 to the 12th. Now, this one, x to the 10th times x, just a reminder, because you'll see this on Khan Academy, remember that when there is just one x, we write it as x to the 1 power. So this would be like x to the 10th times x to the 1 power. Let's add a little 1 there. What would that be? Yep, x to the 10th. So I think you are all ready to go try it out on Khan Academy. So this lesson is just going to be a quick lesson on dividing with exponents. So I want to start with just something really simple. What is 4 over 4? What does that simplify to? Right, so that would be 1. So we're going to use that um, to divide with exponents. I'm going to first start, though, with looking at this, because um, this is the expanded version of some um, exponential expressions. So remember, though, what we just said, 4 over 4 is 1. So whenever we have 1 4 over 1 4, I can cross them out, meaning that they are equal to just 1. So I'll cross out, cross out, and what's left is just 4 which means this was four to the fourth, and this was four to the third. So four to the fourth divided by four to the third equals just four. So let's do that a couple times, and then we'll talk about what the um, quick rule would be. So can you cross those out and write what that would be? Yep, so we would cross out those. And what's left is x to the second power. Try this one. So we'll cross out the ones that equal 1. What's left is 9 to the third power. Now, this one you'll have to expand yourself. So expand, cross them out, and what do you get? So if I was going to expand, it would be, and then cross them out, and we get a squared by this one. I'm left with just 
five. We could write to the one, but we really don't need to. Try this one, cross them out. We're left with x squared. Now, I could start um, writing all these out, but I'm really tired of writing all these out. So what do you think, looking at a couple of these, what do you think the rule is? Yep, so our rule is that we subtract. So try doing this one with the rule. Yep, so it would be x to the nine minus seven our x squared. Try this one. Would be 14, 5 minus 2, or 14 cubed. Try this one. This would be 8, the 6 minus 3, or 8 to the third. This one would be 9, 8 minus 6, 9 squared. And that's it. Why don't you go try the Khan Academy?